She had concluded she was destined for destruction, having tried unsuccessfully to overcome a bad habit. Ada could not remember where she picked up the habit of lying, but since she decided to take her walk with God seriously, it's been very difficult to overcome the urge to lie. After church service one Sunday Peter sat beside Ida and asked why she looked so worried. She shared her fear with him, and he reassured her from God's word that she was not destined for destruction. God doesn't want anyone to perish. Peter told Ada that she was struggling because she was trying to achieve holiness by her willpower. It is not enough to say I will never lie again, but you must find what God's word says about lying and use it to build your faith or your spiritual stamina against lying, he said. He read different scriptures to her and Ada left that meeting encouraged. She decided to pay more attention to God's word and yield to the Holy Spirit for help. I don't know the bad habit you're struggling to overcome, but the Bible says in John 15, 3, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. It means the solution you're looking for is in God's word. If you diligently study God's word and obey it, you'll overcome sin. Also in Ephesians 5.27 the Bible says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Can you see that? The word of God has the power to keep you clean. If you're serious about walking in holiness, you must pay attention to what God is saying to you and meditate on God's word every day. Endeavor to obey it to stay clean. Yes, you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But don't stop there. Continue studying his word and depending on the Holy Spirit to live up to his standard. Stay blessed.